What's up? Yeah, I'm on the beach today. I had to get cool again because I didn't came back with two ties and I do not like this, man. I do not like it at all. But I had to bring my dog Alex right back because you, you know he he tied me. I haven't been tied a lot lately, but you know I'm eight and zero oh and two, and he's the guy to you know give me a tie. So I had to bring him right back. So welcome to another edition. I hated to love it. Sponsored by our guys over at Steady Picks. Man, how you doing, Alex? What's up, man? I'm ready to get a dub this week. No more ties, and I'm not gonna take an L. You like my shades? <laughs> I like it, man. That's a good look you got on right there. Yeah, you know, you know, for right now, though, until I until I get into the cool part of this, I'm probably going, you know, I'm going to just get back. I'm going to take my shades off right now because I'm going to get, you know, <laughs> I, I want to dominate, you know, where they can see me. You feel me? Uh, all right. Going serious. But, um, yeah, man. Without further, what do you want to get into first? Let's go NFL first. You go NFL first. Yeah, we so got I think those that's these, tomorrow. I like NFL. I ain't mad. You know, we got some oh happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there too, man. And do not forget, man. Um, you know, be thankful and love one another because this is great times to, you know, be around family and your loved ones. So uh we got the Thanksgiving Day games up first, man. We might as well get straight into it. We have the Buffalo Bills heading into the hot. Detroit Lions, man. They have the spread at minus nine for the Bills. Hate it or love it? I love it. I love it. I think uh, the Bills are going to win and they're going to cover. That's just simple, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's you know what's time, crazy? It's a yeah, time game I him. hear you. Uh, I think that uh, Josh has been struggling the last couple of weeks. I think he gets back on on track. Detroit is a tough team. They're they're a lot tougher than what they get credit for. Dan Campbell has those boys playing great football right now. It's just like you saying. Um, I think the Bills are just a superior team, and they have a lot. They have way more than you know the um, the, the the Detroit Lions right now. But again, the Detroit Lions are are fighting hard, and you know I'm I'm going to absolutely love this as well because I feel like you know like I said, Josh is going to handle it. But I wouldn't be surprised. If this uh, is one of those games that goes, you know, where, where the Detroit takes it or something, like on some surprise stuff because of the way they've been playing football. Dan Campbell's a former player. Um, he really gets it. You know what I'm saying? This is a couple years in the struggle. Them, them players are with him. They understand it. Um, Jeff Saturday, so to speak, is a little different for me just because he came off the couch. Like, you know what I'm saying? He might have been around the team, but I just think that Dan Campbell's time with that the Lions are just a little different. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do pull it upset. But me, I'm going with the Bills. Sorry, I just have to. I'm just throwing that out there, though, so don't be surprised. Um, They have the over or under at 54. Hate it or love it? I'm going to go the under. I'm going to go the under there. I hate it. 54? Hmm, so that's, what, 20 each side, 25? I don't think the, I don't think the Lions are going to put up points. You know, I know they have uh, – you know, their their run game in the red zone is strong, man. I mean, mm-hmm. Williams back there, just give him the rock. He's in the end zone. But I'm going to take the under. I don't think the Lions are going to put up a lot of points. Hmm. Well, guess what? This is where we first differ on the first one, man. Oh, I'm yeah. absolutely – I love the over in this one. Okay. I just love Josh to come out on Thanksgiving Day games. I remember playing um the buff I mean the Buffalo I played Buffalo as well but I remember playing Detroit Lions on um Thanksgiving Day game and I actually won the award me and myself me CJ and a couple of guys we uh won the actual the award for that game but we played the Lions at home and if I'm not mistaken I think we put forty plus on them alone so like you know what I mean I'm not saying that's the same team but I'm just saying that you played on Thanksgiving yeah I played on Thanksgiving and oh I how had, was that I, like. Um, it was crazy, man. You know, uh, I think Sims gave us like the cobbler award. It was, you know, you get to go to the table and eat food and stuff afterwards. It was dope, man. Me and CJ both went over a hundred. He had two touchdowns. I had three. Like I think, like something like that. It was crazy. We had a great day. It was, it was, it was a dope game, man. And uh, the Detroit it's a lot better when you win. Oh yeah, and the, they the, the <laughs> Lions weren't really the Lions like they are right now. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I absolutely love the over on that one. I, I guess I take a double victory this weekend in the first oh, Thanksgiving Day okay. game. All right, all right. Next Thanksgiving Day game up and probably, honestly, the game of the week, just to be honest, because of what these two teams are doing right now. And one team are pro- one team is definitely – I didn't see this coming at the beginning of the year, but I'm proud that they are there. So we have the New York football giants 
<laughs> Heading into America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. They have the spread at minus nine for the Cowboys. Hate it or love it? Minus nine for the Cowboys. I love it. You love it? I love that spread. Yeah, that's that's a that's a safe that's a safe bet. I think. Um. See, this is tricky to me because I know what Dallas did last year. Between, by, by my guy shirtless Kirk, which made me oh. completely sad. Give you that. But see, I think the Cowboys bounce back to reality this weekend and they, you know, they fold. I Bro, know that defense. That I know the defense, defense is playing defense. outrageous, but hey, um, ah, man, I love it too. I want to see if the Cowboys can do it. When Cowboys are good, when the Cowboys are good in football, for some reason, the whole NFL is like, you know, just hyping and I love it. So I actually want the Cowboys to, you know, do this. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't cover though. Like, but I, I, I love them too, but I wouldn't okay. be surprised if they don't. That's what I'm saying. All right. Um, they have the over or under at 44 and a half. Hate it or love it. I'm going to go the over. I think uh, I, I, I'm going to go the over there. I think if, if, if the Giants are going to win this game, they're going to have to go through Saquon Barkley and, you know, he's, I think he's ready for the, you know, to, to carry the team. And I think if Daniel Jones is, he has to keep the defense honest and he's going to have to make some quick passes that I think he'll be able to convert because Parsons is going to come after him. Yeah. You know, so he has to throw the ball quick, but I think they will. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take the over there. Yeah. I, I love the over too, man. Just because what Cowboys showed me last week. Now, if, if the Cowboys absolutely come out here and squat on the money, then I'll understand that that was a fluke last week. That's what I'm telling you. Wow. Know, and I'll know that the Cowboys definitely aren't going to do anything in the playoffs if they don't. If they don't go over this week, they got to score at least 28 points. Like, I'm, I want to see that same offense I've seen last night. Where's the explosiveness? Show me that you can do that, and I might be a believer. So, yes, I love the over in this, but I also love that the Giants take care of their part. They're not just going to roll over. I think that the, this is a new Giants team. Saquon, like you said, has been running crazy. Um, if he has a crazy breakout game this game, he, because of that New York market, I guarantee you he'll be up there for that that uh, MVP award or something like that. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. And if he has a monster game and ends up beating the Cowboys, I think they're the first in their division, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, keep an eye on that game, man. I'm anxious to see how it goes. But I absolutely love them to cover, and I love the over, man. Cowboys do not make – he disowned you guys. I, I've disowned you since 96. I'm coming back around. Yeah, like, golly, 96. He hasn't won a Super Bowl since then. So let's do something, Cowboys. Wow, yeah. Next up, we have the Patriots. I used to be a, a fan of the Patriots because of Thomas Brady. Um, but I had to move on my separate ways once he left. So we have the Patriots going into – Oh, they play Minnesota? Yeah, they play my okay. guy, Shirtless Kirk, which I know I have a bounce back. They have the – Spread at minus three for the Vikings. Hate it or love it. I'll go first, big man. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know who I am taking. <laughs> I'm taking shirtless Kirk, baby. I I, I love them uh, to cover with minus three. He let you down bad last but, week. But yes, yeah, stuff happens in the NFL. Sometimes it happens, man. You you get a reality check. But this is what I think snaps him back into reality. He gets him back in that MVP talk. He comes out. He dominates. I mean, not dominates, but he has a really solid game against the Patriots. The Patriots, for some reason, always have a good scheme. Obviously, because of the guy Belichick. We know that. But I just think that the Vikings bounce back. So I love this. What do you got? I love it too. I think uh, the Vikings cannot go out like that. Um, last week was supposed to be, you know, almost their Super Bowl, and they completely fell flat. Uh, they need to bounce back again. Now they have a chance on Thanksgiving, and uh, the Patriots have a good defense. You know, they have a very sneaky good defense that can really put up a fight against any team in the NFL. Um, I think this is going to be a test, but I got your boy shirtless Kirk. I notice how I make the, the ad lib. <laughs> Are you going to ride with them? Are you going to ride with them uh, to the Super Bowl? I don't know, man. I just got to keep seeing what, what I – I have a thing with this guy, Kurt, man. Me and my friends – You have him in the him. MVP talks too. I did because of the way he's been playing. I mean, you know, we got to be honest. But see, what it is is 
I've been having this guy Kirk has been balling for years, and people have been saying it's been um, the systems he's in, but he's been having the new coordinator and a new coach every year. So to me, it's not no system; it's him. He's a baller, man. I just got to give it up, and it's it seems to me like he's always on the back tier quarterbacks, but it's like his numbers are there before he had like all these players around him. He was still was putting up these numbers. So it's like, I mean, they got to back up off my guy, Kirk. I'm riding with Kirk, man. I got to, man. And I just have to. And they got the over or under for this one at 42. I'm going to tell you right now, I absolutely hate it. After seeing the Patriots last week and seeing they had to score on the Hail Mary, the, you know, punt return to, you know, get that game out of there. Um, what was it, 3-3 three, three for the whole game? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I just don't see it. I know Kurt is a way better offense than the Jets and Zach Wilson. Notice they sit, they, the players set his ass down, so that's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah. with that being said, yeah, I got I, I absolutely hate it, man. I'm, I'm taking the under in this one, man. I can't I, – I, I refuse to believe that all of a sudden the Patriots find super offense, and, and after the Vikings squatted and put three last week, it's too hard – for me to believe that they these two teams are just going to come out firing on all cylinders to put up over 42. Can't I can't take it. I agree. I I'm going to take the under as well. I mean, the Patriots offense for what it's worth, they don't have any firepower back there. And Mac Jones, you know, he's always just playing it safe. You know, he's just a, he's a good game manager, but he doesn't really know how to get in the end zone, right? He has to rely on, rely on other players to do that and it just really hasn't been working out. Uh, they have to allow Mac, Mac Jones tomorrow. I don't think he'll be able to get it done. I do think they'll be able to score points, but I don't have that. Uh, I'm taking the under there. I, I see them having a lot of, um, you know, they their run game. They got a run game down there with Harrison. Um, I, I, I forget. I don't know how to say his name. The Vikings are a very underrated defensive team, though, you know. Yeah. And Mac Jones, uh, you know, he, yeah. he holds the ball on too long and uh, – I don't. He's not. A, he's not really a good quarterback to my eyes. I mean, I like Mac for what what they give him down there in, in um, New England and the way they try to man. I feel like they make him do those certain things. Like they manage him that certain way. And then again, him being a, a good company quarterback or a good company type of guy, he's not gonna like. I think you don't want to ruffle any feathers. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mac will get an opportunity if Mac leaves right now. It was the like. If his contract was up and he needed to get another team, he would definitely get another team because of how good he's able to play. I just think that the the pages kind of hold him back because of the way they are known to play. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, I don't think he gets it done this week either, though. But 42 is way too many points for both those teams, so I hate it. Um, let's move on to some Sunday games. That was going to be some good action for Thursday. I can't wait. Yeah, well, um, Sunday games are going to be – Pretty fun, too, though, because they got my Tennessee Titans up now. But first, yeah, no, okay, we'll go Bengals at my Tennessee Titans. Yes, sir. The Bengals? I know Pac-Man somewhere out there, he called them the Bengals. So we'll say the Bengals at the Tennessee Titans. They have my, the – what? I was going to say my Titans, but they have the Bengals at minus one and a half. Hate it or love it? Oh, I – I hate it. I think Tennessee is going to win this game. Shit, I second that right along with you. <laughs> I thought we were at least going to be one. Like, I thought we were going to be the one-point favorites, but I just love the way we've been playing. Even with, you know, our back-and-forth quarterback situation right now, Tannehill's ankle, I don't know. He's been taking snaps. I don't mind. We have Derek Eugene Henry, and when he's running mad, I, I just love him. Um, our rookie, Burks, he's been, maybe you know, trying to show him or showcase him rather a little bit more, you know, giving him the ball. I just, I can't wait to see how they, you know, break him out the box and give him the ball. But I absolutely hate this. I'm taking my Titans and I'm taking my Titans to cover, man, and, and get in there. Like, I just believe that our team is better right now. I Let's agree. I think, uh, Titans. I think Robert Woods is going to have another, you know, he's really Bobby coming. Trees. Yeah. That's a know. Trojan boy, man. I got my Trojan gear on. I'm smelling yeah. the roses right now, too, by the way, man. But, yeah, Bobby Trees from USC. Yeah, I think he's going to have a big game for sure, too. I like what you said there. Yeah, Get I my know. Guy out. Shout out Bobby Trees, man. There you they go. Have, they have the over or under at 42 and a half. Hate it or love it. Ooh. That's, a, hmm. that's, that's tough. Yeah, that's an interesting. That's It's only 21 points. And one thing we do know is that – I mean, 21 points for each team. One thing I do know is that um, Joey B, when he does get on the roll, when they get to scoring points, they can score points. So if we have to 
you know, stay up there with them. Our defense is pretty good, but we might have to score around 24 points this weekend to keep up. They might be wow. around 20. So that'll be right at like 44. So I'm going to love the over on this one. It's very rare that I take the Titans in the over because of that. But because of Cincinnati's offense, I feel like we'll have to put up points. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take the over. I'm going to take the under. Um, I don't know if Joe Mixon's going to be available. Their run game might be in question a little bit. They got P. Uh, Ryan. Tennessee is, yeah, so Tennessee. P. Ryan. Yeah, P. Ryan. I mean, he did have like a three touchdown game last week, but I think the Titans are slowly creeping into becoming a playoff team um, and a team that a, a lot of people were writing off earlier on with, you know, their quarterback issues and, you know, the issues with their offense. But they're starting to become a team that people need to pay attention to. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take the under, but I just think it's going to be more of a defensive game uh, to limit, you know, Joe Burrow. Oh, you say tomato, I say tomato. Okay. <laughs> Let's go over there. Let's go Titans. Okay. Next up on the bench, we got the Saints heading into the 49ers. They got the 49ers at minus eight. Hate it or love it? I hate it. I hate it. I think I think uh, Andy Dalton's hot right now. And, oh, yes. Uh, Thank you for giving me an easy way up. <laughs> I absolutely I love it. I ride with the Red Rocket. You are absolutely – hey, Alex, what you – what are you – have you <laughs> – was it a rough night you've been drinking? Are you trying to give me this – you're just trying to give me a victory. I love this. Yeah, Thank you. Andy I appreciate Dalton. you, Alex. Don't let no, me down, Andy Dalton. The Red Rocket finally shows you exactly why he's the Red Rocket. He gets benched. <laughs> Or he throws an unknown, you know, he's known for throwing picks. I just don't buy him. I love McCaffrey. I love Elijah Mitchell, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk. I love Debo. Like, it's too many offensive people over there. And, and, and Kyle, sorry, I almost said uh, Big Shanahan, but Kyle Shanahan knows exactly how to put these dudes in position, along with my guy, one of my favorite guys, Jimmy G. Man, I cannot wait to see. I absolutely love them to do this. And this is where they start showing that they will be a playoff contention team and that they will be somebody to be dealing with later on. Jimmy G, what he do? All he does is win, baby. And all they try to do is trade him, and all he does is win. I love Jimmy G. So I'm taking my San Francisco – I'm saying my San Francisco 49ers to cover this week, baby, and cover – Don't let me down, week. Dalton. Don't let oh, me down. Red Rocket is out of here this weekend. <laughs> Don't worry. You you just took your first – that was another L right there. <laughs> they have the over or under at 42 and a half. Hate it or love it. I'm taking the over. I love it with you. I'm going to take the over with you, man. I just – on that one, I, I just see both teams scoring a little bit of points. They both have good these offenses, brother. Um, I just feel like in this game, the defense, my guy from USC, the safety, he's going to come down. He'll probably get a pick or a pick six, and that's what's going to be the difference. But that's what's going to give us the, the points for this over. So I absolutely love it because the defense will score this weekend. So, yes, I love the over for the for this, man. So, I love the 49ers and I love the yes, you you taking the red rocket. This man's crazy. He's giving me these are finger rolls, ladies and gentlemen. This is finger roll. Don't now, let me down. Don't let me down. For my guy, relax. A Rod, man. We got A Rod up. The Packers heading in to fly. Eagles fly. They have the Packers. Oh, the spread is Packers plus seven. Hmm. I hate that. I think the Eagles are gonna destroy the Packers. How do they have the Packers at plus seven? That has to be a typo or something. I there is no way the Packers are. Bro, hold on, game. Nick. Are you? It, I think Nick. <laughs> hey, Nick is. Um, he's trolling us. He has to be trolling on this game. There is no way. One baby, second, ladies and gents. We have to. I have to make sure. I have to double confirm because this is. There's no way. There's no way the Packers. There's no way. There's no way. I'm sorry. I'm almost there. Oh, I'm checking too. Okay, yeah, they have the. I think they have the e. They have the e. Oh yeah, they do have Green Bay at plus six. At plus six five. So obviously the Eagles have to win by seven. I mean, as long as the Eagles don't win by seven, I guess that think that that's what that's what they're saying, right? Because they yeah. have the, the the Philly at minus six and a half. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But they got the the the. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um. Philly has to win by a touchdown. Do you think Philly – that's what I'm looking at, if, if I'm not mistaken. That's how I look at it. 
So as long as um, Green Bay doesn't lose by a touchdown, they win. No, Philly Philly's the favorite. Right, but what we're saying is on the plus, I don't, maybe they have to clarify me. I'm saying as long as, if you take Green Bay with the points on plus, the plus seven, you know what I mean? As long as they win, as long yeah. as Philly doesn't win by more than seven points, I feel like they win the Green Bay bet. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. However it goes, I absolutely don't like this at all. I hate it. I'm taking the Eagles to fly, Eagles fly. They will destroy the Packers this weekend. I'm sorry, A-Rod. Um, I just feel like y'all in turmoil. I don't feel like this is the week y'all bounce back. After the Eagles um, just got that tough win against, you know, Jeff Saturday last week, I just feel like they keep shooting themselves in the foot, and they know that they – are the reason that they're not getting a lot of points. So I feel that once they, you know, turn that around, yes, I love the Eagles, man. Fly, Eagles, fly. Who are you taking? taking, I'm, taking I'm taking the Eagles as well. I think, uh, you know, last week they didn't expect to have the Colts put up a fight. Um, you know, they got scared a little bit. And it came down to, you know, the last play of the game. I think the Eagles are now starting to play some competitive teams. Everybody was talking about how easy their schedule was. Um, good teams it, find a way to win. Bad teams find a way to lose. So Colts, I mean, we know they just fired their coach for a reason. You see what I'm saying? The Eagles, they've only what lost one game this season for a reason. So hey, I hear what you're saying. They got yeah. the they got the over under at 46 and a half. Hated to love it. I'm taking the under. Uh, I I do think. Look, I I, I think the Packers. I don't I don't see it being three straight games with that rookie wide receiver having multiple touchdowns. Yeah. I don't think that they can go to anybody else. They're only going to go to him. And the Eagles, their secondary is one of the best in the NFL. And the Packers, they struggle with good secondaries because these are young receivers that, you know, aren't used to trying to find a way to get open. Yeah. Um, I'm taking the under. Well, I don't want to keep going with you, and and I'm taking the over. So ain't you gonna to have to beat me somehow, some way? I ain't gonna on camera. I'm doing. I can't just keep guessing, okay, or keep going with him because he going like there's no way. I'm going over. I think A. Rod has a boy scoring at least 23 points, but the Eagles got to score at least 23 to win. That's an easy over 46 because they got to score at least 24. So yeah, I love it. I, I love it, man. I love the over in this. Let's go, fly Eagles, fly. And now to my favorite part of this real, this is my favorite part. You know what I mean? Cause we smelling the roses. Yeah. College football time, man. Yeah. You, you got lucky with that old one point. Uh, you got so lucky with that. Like, you know what? If you, cause if you're so good, right. Show me what you're going to do now. Big dog. All right. All right. Got, That's I'm here. They get got Baylor up. heading into Texas, man. They have Texas at minus eight and a half. Hated to love it. This is crazy. How that is, possible? that's a big game. I don't know. I didn't know that. I mean, isn't this rivalry week? I didn't really know this that is, there were rivalries like that. I, yeah, I didn't. I don't. Hey, maybe it's a new uh, rivalry, but the, it's the state of Texas and Baylor. Baylor just gave TCU a run for their money. Um, Baylor minus eight and a half. Or what'd you say? Yeah, it's Texas minus eight and a half. Hater to love it. Ooh, I, I think Texas is gonna end the season with an L. I think Baylor is gonna win. I, I I I'm I'm not I'm not saying Texas will lose. I'm just not saying they're gonna cover over t- over eight points. Eight points with the okay. way Texas has been playing lately scares me. I've been trying to go Sark all year. Every time I went Sark this year, he has let me down. I think B. John Robinson definitely has another monster running back game where he probably seals the deal for what is it the Doak Walker. Is that the running back award? Yeah, yeah. he'll probably win the running. So I know he has a big game. I just don't think – I think Texas wins, but they don't cover. So I absolutely hate it. I'm with you on this one. I think Baylor plays good football. They might be emotionally torn, though, from that game last week. So we might get two different Baylors. You never know. They actually might stink the money up this week or, you know, they they still got something to fight about. But I, I just know that to ruin Texas, anytime you can beat a big dog like Texas – it sits with you. So, yeah, I absolutely hate that pick. But they have the over under at 55 and a half. Hate it or love it. I'm going to take the over. I think uh, both teams are going to be able to put up points. Uh, Robinson, this could be his last college football game uh, before he enters the draft. Yeah. Um, you know, he's going to have multiple touchdowns, I think. You know, who, what's going to happen uh, on the other side of the ball with Baylor? You know, they – 
they got to put up points too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take the over there. I'm taking the over too. It's just simple. I know Sarge's going to like to score some points. He might not be able to win this game, but he scores some points. And like you said, B. John has a big day. Next up, we have NC State at North Carolina, the Tar Heels, man. They got the Tar Heels at minus six and a half, hate it or love it. I hate it. I think they're going to win. I don't think they're going to cover. Yeah, I, I don't want to keep agreeing with you all the time, so I absolutely love this. I think that Sean May has a decent game, be on his way out. Uh, this is one of the rivalry games where it makes, you know, tur turns boys into men, and this is when he becomes a man. So I love it. I love North Carolina to, to at least win by a touchdown in this. Um, NC State hasn't been playing good ball these last couple of weeks. They've been falling off. So they have the over or under at 56. Hate it or love it. Ooh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the under there. Um, I don't know too much about both teams, to be honest, but uh, I, I'm just going to go with the guess here and take the under. Hmm. I'm going to go under too. I just, NC State hasn't impressed me and I don't think North Carolina can score 50 by itself. Um, they'll probably score a good 35, but yeah, I, I like the under in this one as well. I had to, I had to copy you, man, unfortunately. One of the biggest games we grew up probably watching just because this is a, a big rivalry. I don't care where you are in the world. Um, Florida at Florida State. Oh, versus okay. the yeah. Tim Tebowers. Um, they, this is big. I know for Florida State too because they have Florida State at minus nine and a half. Hate it or love it. They have Florida State at minus nine and a half. Yes. Got to win by dang near 10, a 10 ball. I love it. I think Florida State is going to blow them out. I mean, Florida lost to Vanderbilt. They lost to Vanderbilt last week. That's bad, man. I think Florida State I absolutely, they're back. I absolutely hate this. I just know how – I'm not saying Florida State doesn't win. I just don't think they win by nine and a half points. I know how these rivalry games go. And yes, they did lose to Vanderbilt. You're right. But for some reason, when it goes in this rivalry game and you go play somebody that you hate, they turn all the, the stuff that they didn't have last week versus Vandy, all of a sudden it comes out the woodwork. So I absolutely hate this only because I just feel like it's going to be a closer game than what we, you know, what we think. Um, Florida State still wins this, but yeah, uh, Florida definitely covers. Um, they have the over under at 58, hate it or love it. Wow. I'm going to take the over. I, I'm going with you, too. I can't lie. The over, like, that's not a, a lot of points. And this rivalry, yeah. I feel like the quarterback um, for Florida, he's been doing really decent. I, he's a he's a decent – when he has it going, he has it going. So, I think he's going to put some points on the board, which forces Florida State to have to, you know, ramp up and come back from, with, from behind. That's why I don't think they cover. They come from back from behind, end up scoring, like, late, probably end up winning by, like, six, maybe seven points. So – um, can't wait to see that, but I definitely like the over in this one for sure. Now to move on where the primetime games are going on, man, and the realest college football rivalries in the world are going down, man. Probably the biggest game this weekend by far. You have Michigan heading into Columbus. Whew, I can't wait to see this game. It's going to be big dog football right here. They got Ohio State at minus seven and a half. Hate it or love it. I see you got your oh, I see you got your shirt on. So what you gonna do, man? Oh H I. Oh, let's go. I think Ohio State is gonna put the beat down on Michigan. I think this is gonna be a two score game. Yes. Um, I don't think Michigan. They're gonna keep it close. Yes. I but agree. uh. Marvin Harrison Jr. Yes, the junior, man. My guy. He might be arguably the best college football player. One, two. Jordan Addison, when he's healthy, I, I'm telling I'm sorry. Jordan yeah, Addison, wide I'm receiver. Because those boys. But I'm with you. He's going to be the difference maker. And I don't mean to cut you off, but I'm here. No, you. you're right. You're right. I mean, this is going to be a two-score game. This, to me, is not a rivalry. I know Michigan, you know, got got the win. Uh, you know, last time, but that's exactly why I think Ohio bad. State. This is exactly why I think Ohio State comes in and takes care of business. When you have to live with that all year, and deep down inside, thinking like you know, you probably were the best team last year anyway, and you took the L. I just feel that 
I'm sorry. I, I'm taking OH to cover. Um, I think with Michigan and the way they've been struggling lately and these the, the wins they've been pulling out, I just feel like they give give Ohio State what they need to move past them and then oh, do not Michigan out and let my Trojans on in that top four, baby. That's what I see. So I absolutely love Ohio State to cover. That's easy money. Um, over or under at 57 and a half. I mean, no, it's just 57. Sorry. Hate it or love it. I'm taking the over. Like I said, Ohio yeah. State is going to run it up, just like you said. Michigan, I, I got to take the over, too. too. I just don't think – I know Quorum, he he might be playing, he might not be playing. I think J.J. McCarthy's decent. Y'all got to um, – I'm not sure if he's Simone or Tungan. He's a uh, Polynesian descent, if I'm not mistaken. But the, yeah. the, the linebacker y'all got, he's been making crazy plays. Like he's the top player in the country. Yeah, he's making – so I just don't think that – I don't think I think Harbaugh drops the ball, so to speak, on this one, man. Oh, H, let's go. I'm rocking with y'all this weekend. Cool. Um, although good. I still I have to say it, I still think Ohio State sucks. I have to say that. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, to the real game now, Notre Shame. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Notre Dame at my school, the University of Spoiled Children. Yeah. 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 The University of Southern California Trojans. They have us at minus five. Hate it or love it. Don't worry. I love it. We cover and we cover big. We have a chance to go to the college football playoffs. I think we drop and we go handle business this weekend. I think Caleb Williams and Jordan Addison, they both have huge days. J.A. goes back for Bolitnikoff, a second bullet. He's going to be riding with your, your dog over there, Ohio State. But I think Caleb Williams shows that he's the true Heisman Trophy winner because of the back-to-back -back performances he's had. Um, I'm riding with my guys to cover and cover big. Let's go, Trojans. I'm with, on. You. I'm with you. I think if USC wins this game and Michigan loses, who knows? It propels yeah. us. And they can talk about we ain't ready. I wouldn't give a damn. Just put me in the bowl. Put me down. Let me worry about the rest. You hear me? They have yeah. the over under at 62 and a half. Hated to love it. I absolutely love it. For us to win, we have to score a lot of points. And I just think we're going to do it, man. So I'm going to take it out of your mouth. I say I love it. I love the us to cover and I love the over. Let's go Trojan. I'm man. taking I'm taking the under. I'm taking I'm the glad under. you do. Easy victory. I took that over last week when they almost scored 100 points. I'm trying to tell you, we can't stop nobody on defense. They can't stop nobody on defense. It's going to be a great, exciting game. Caleb will show you that he's going to win his Heisman. I cannot wait, man. And uh, that's that's to do it. But, oh, for anybody that wants to make a crazy bet this week and head over to Steady Picks, they have Iowa State at TCU. Does Iowa State have – a chance to pull off the upset. Vegas has Iowa State as the three to one underdogs. You might win you a lot of big money there, man. Head over to Steady Picks and check that out. I appreciate you coming on another show. Hate it or love it, man. Sponsored by our guys over at Steady Picks. I think this is the week I stay undefeated as well. I'll be nine zero and two. You'll have to take your loss. I appreciate you coming Come on. Come on, Andy Dalton. Don't let me down. <laughs> hey, oh, the rare Rocket let you down. I'm sorry. That's where you lost this battle right there. You shouldn't have oh, picked okay. them, brother. Let's go. And the Trojans, I'm smelling the roses, baby. I'm smelling it. And if y'all beat up on Michigan and we happen to have to play play them again in the Rose Bowl, hey, sorry, Michigan, but come on and get your ass whooped. We'll, we'll, we'll have to do it to you, baby. OH, baby. Thanks for yes, having sir. me. I appreciate you, baby. Fight on, man.